In the largest county in Michigan, Wayne County can seem awfully small when it comes to hiring political appointees. Tonight, the question is this. Did a family member of Warren Evans score a county job because she's the most qualified or the most connected? I'm holding on by thread with my paycheck. Jeanette Plummer has been holding on for a long time. Like most Wayne County employees, she's watched as the cost of her health insurance goes up and promises like retiree health care go away. We needed to make some painful cuts. Our employees and retirees were required to make huge sacrifices. And the cuts have come while Jeanette's salary, just over $30,000 a year, stays the same. She hasn't seen a raise in about a decade. That's truly a smack in the face, especially since I've been there for 30 years, and it's hard for us to even move up in the county. But not everyone in the county is struggling. Take Renata Seals. She was hired last year in the county treasurer's office at $60,000 a year, despite no prior government experience or even a college degree. A few months later, when a new treasurer took over, Seals got a promotion, going from a contract employee to full-time with benefits and a $10,000 bump in pay. And Seals isn't the only person in her family drawing a county paycheck. No, her husband gets one too. He happens to run the county, and his name is Warren Evans. How many people did you consider? Well, I didn't consider anyone else. Eric Sabri is the Wayne County Treasurer and the man who promoted Renata Seals after only eight months on the job back when she and Evans were dating. At the time, Sabri had been treasurer for only a few months and was running for a four-year term. Did the county executive endorse you? Yes, he did. And did that endorsement play any role at all in his girlfriend getting this job? No, it did not. Despite a lack of government experience, Sabri said it was Seals' years of work as a community liaison that made her such an appealing candidate first at a fashion business association, and more recently for a real estate company. Her job with Wayne County today, going into neighborhoods and educating residents that are behind in their taxes on how they can avoid foreclosure. Her job is to make sure people know how to pay what they owe. Exactly. Has she always paid what she owes? You know, I don't really know. I don't know. I, I didn't do it in police, and, uh, we can police and background investigation. Well, neither did we, but it only took about five minutes to find liens and judgments filed against Renata Seals all across the state. There's this $2,300 judgment by Midland Credit Management, a debt collection agency in California. A $6,100 judgment entered against her and her ex-husband by Outdoor Adventures, a vacation campsite in Michigan. And then there's three judgments from Dorchester Arms Apartments in Detroit, totaling more than $5,000. The judgments were news to the county treasurer, who said they gave Seals a special perspective when dealing with taxpayers behind in their payments. She probably knows it firsthand, based on what you just told me. So you think the fact that she's had this many defaults is a good thing? No, no I, don't, I didn't say that. I said probably she understands it firsthand. It sure stinks of nepotism, and it stinks of favoritism. It doesn't add up to Brendan Dunleavy, who for years was Wayne County's Auditor General, digging into waste, fraud and abuse at all levels of county government. There might have been a much better candidate that would have applied for the job had they known about the job. The fact it wasn't posted, the fact it wasn't advertised, it's a real problem. But this story doesn't quite end there. Today, while putting the finishing touches on our report, we learned that only three months after the treasurer promoted the county executive's now wife, the county executive's legal division hired the treasurer's son. Adam Sabri was made an assistant corporation counsel in November, earning $58,000 a year. Both offices insist it's just a coincidence. As for Renata Seals, after only eight months in her current position, she's already in discussions with her boss about a raise. We're told the exact number hasn't been figured out yet. In the meantime, employees like Jeanette Plummer are hoping that one day, after 10 years of waiting, they might get one too. It's a slap in the face being with the county for so many years and not having a raise, but seeing other people come in and they're getting these raises, it hurts. In an email, Renata Evan Seal said her past financial troubles were a struggle for her and her family, but that it's helped fuel her passion to aid others who are struggling to pay what they owe. She also says she knew nothing about judgments filed against her by Dorchester Arms Apartments, adding that she's never lived there and was never notified. We should also point out that her husband, the county executive, declined to be interviewed for this story. Now, as you reported in the job, nobody uh, in this report, nobody else was considered for that job. 
Is she technically qualified for the job that she got? On paper, technically, yes, because the requirements were quite limited. The, uh, the job qualifications uh, here, uh, written last spring after she was hired first as a contract employee, did not require a college degree. They only required 100 hours of college credit. Now, we haven't been able to confirm how many credit hours Ms. Seals Evans has earned, and she has declined t t to tell us. Oh, a 60,000 something job with no college degree, that's also. And she got a raise to 70 and she's being considered for another raise now. So is this, is this the end of the story or are we gonna continue <laughs> to follow well, that's, it? That's up to folks like Wayne County Commissioners and others who can ask some questions. I've talked to a few who are interested in this. Uh, we'll see what they have to say as soon as tomorrow. We know you'll stay on it, Ross. Thank you so much. All right.